Hi there. Today I'm going to answer the question of how many times are a clock's hands opposite each other in a 24 hour day? And the clock's hands that um, I'm interested in are the hour hand and the minute hand. And you can see there that the hour hand and the minute hand are perfectly opposite each other here at about 12.33. So we're not worried about the second hand, but just the hour hand and the minute hand. And then the next time, now the next time that they're opposite after 12.33 is, and I'll wind it around, is about 1.38. Yep, 1.38, you can see there that they're um, perfectly opposite or opposed to each other, the hour hand and the minute hand. That's the second time they're opposite. And the third time they're opposite, is around about 2.43. See there, a little bit more, touch more, touch less. There we go. Uh, they're perfectly opposite, the hour hand and the minute hand, at 2.43. So the question then is how many times are these hour hand and minute hand opposite each other in a 24 hour day? So if you want to think about the answer, click on the pause button Otherwise, I'm going to go straight into the answer. Now, the obvious answer is that the hands are opposite every hour or so, and there are 24 hours in a day, so the hands must be opposite 24 times in a 24 hour day. But actually, actually, that is not correct, and it's only 22 times that the uh, hands are opposite in a 24 hour day. And it's only 22 times that the hands are opposite because the hands are actually opposite. They're not hop opposite every 60 minutes, but they're actually opposite every 65 or 66 minutes. And um, and I'll show you what, I'll show you why. And if we go back to the uh, the first time the hands were opposite, which is at 12:33. Yep. Yeah, 12:33. And then if we wind the, uh, the clock on for 60 minutes then, 60 minutes we come to 1.33, and you can see there that the hands are not opposite. And we've actually got to go on another five minutes to uh, 1.38 for the hands to be opposite. And that's um, obviously there, then it's uh, from 12.33 to 1.38, that's a 65 minutes uh, difference. Okay, now if we go from 138 then to the next one the next time that the hands are opposite and if we stop at 238 which is 60 minutes on from 138 you can see there that the hands are not opposite and we've still got to go on another five minutes um, to get to 248 for when the uh, the next time the hands are opposite so you can see there that um, it's uh, every 65 minutes and sometimes 66 minutes for the um, hands to become opposite again. Actually in a 24 hour day then, there are 22 lots of 65 or 66 minutes in a 24 hour day, which means that there's only 22 uh, chances or 22 opportunities for the hands on the clock to be opposite in a 24 hour day. Okay, now I'm going to show you a simple grid that'll help uh, explain it further. Okay, so this is a simple grid of all the times that a clock's hands are opposite each other in a 24 hour day, starting at 12.33, 1.38 and 2.43, and they're the three times that I showed you on the clock beforehand. And you can see there that the, uh, the times are advancing by about 65 or 66 minutes at a time and then in the morning then before noon then the last time the clock's hands are opposite each other is at 11.27 and there's the first 11 times that a clock's hands are opposite each other in the 24 hour day before, before noon and then afternoon and into the evening and night um, it's exactly the same times as in the morning, except rather than being AM, it becomes PM. So you've got 11 in the morning, another 11 um, times that the clock's hands are opposite each other in the afternoon, evening and into the night. 
giving you a total of 22 times that a clock's hands are opposite um, in a 24 hour day. And the, um, I said it's approximately 65 or 66 minutes. And to be exact, it's actually 65 minutes and 27 seconds that the, the um, time is advancing between uh, you know, the clock's hands being opposite each other. And down in the description section, I'll put, uh, I'll put the calculations for how to work out 65 minutes and 27 seconds. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.